What we need to do, we need to just get you a couple Foxtail t-shirts. I feel like the brand's at the place where I need something a little bit more than t-shirts. Come on, man. Like free coffee for a year. Just like, you know, give me a little card. It says every time you walk in, you have to post your coffee and it's free. I'd take it. 2021 had a fantastic year for luxury homes here in Central Florida. In fact, we've never seen as high of prices as we did here, as well as how many homes are selling. And so today, we're gonna to talk about the top five luxury sales in Central Florida and talk about predictions on where I see it going. Stay tuned. So before you get into the first house that's sold actually in Golden Oak, let's put into perspective what is a luxury home here in Central Florida? Because before it used to be like anything over a million dollars we would consider as a luxury home. Well, now that's kind of eked up towards the $2 million mark as prices have continued to skyrocket. You look even where we're at here in downtown Winter Garden, there's new buildings popping up, new townhomes selling for multi-million dollars. And so really the mindset around what's luxury has completely changed. So the first house that's in the top five sales of 2021 is in Golden Oak. The property is on Hyperion. It's 12,000 square feet, eight bedrooms, nine full baths, two half baths, and it was the highest sale in Golden Oak last year at $9 million. And so you look at the top five sales, almost all of them are over $10 million. We've never seen that in the history of Central Florida. Last note about Golden Oak, there was actually 15 houses that sold in Golden Oak. It was the last year that they're gonna be selling there, so demand was through the roof. They sold 15 houses. The average sales price was just under $5 million. Can you see me? Yeah, I got you kind of crop on him. I'm gonna come down. The second house I wanna talk about is in Winter Park. It's a thousand genius drive. The property is over 12,000 square feet and was built in 1925. Originally, the price was over $12 million on what it was asking. It sold for just over $10 million, which honestly is an insane price for the area. Winter Park is now synonymous with luxury. Really, you can't get into Winter Park for under a million dollars. And so a lot of builders are going in, they're tearing down older houses to build newer specs. And we're seeing a lot of these larger estates sell for eye popping dollars. The third house I've talked about like a lot. It's actually our number one video, best performing. I think 2022, it might hit a million views. What do you think there, Jay? Yes. Yeah, I think it's, it's really close. And so it's Shaq's house that sold in Isleworth, 31,000 square feet, 16 bedrooms. It was listed at $16 million, ended up closing at $11 million. Just an amazing view. The house needed a lot of work though. You guys could probably watch the old video and see some of the stuff. But anyways, third biggest sale in all of Central Florida for 2021. second highest sale in last year actually tied Shaq's house at $11 million. This property was rumored to be owned by Joe Lewis, who is sort of the developer of Tavistock of Isleworth. So we're staying in Isleworth. This property was 17,000 square feet, sitting on almost six acres, looking out over Lake Bessie. The property was listed at almost $13 million, sold for $11 million, and continued this upward trend in the Windermere area of massively priced houses. So let me know down in the comments below, if you were going to move to either Winter Park or Windermere, which one would you choose and why? What do you think? What do you think real quick? You got to follow the money. So Winter Park is where it's going to be. But at the end of the day, we're getting a lot of people driving right back to Windermere, getting some of these older houses, remodeling them. So I think Windermere is going to continue to lead the way in number of million dollar homes sold.
So the biggest sale for 2021 by far was 9225 Mabel. This property was almost 12,000 square feet, was listed for almost $13 million and sold for $12.5 million, making it the biggest sale in all of Central Florida. And here's why that is insane. It's actually sold in 49 days. Usually those properties used to take years to sell. And so if you look at the luxury market here in Central Florida, days on market have completely been eradicated. We only have two months supply of luxury homes over $2 million. As of this morning, there's 173 houses for sale over $2 million, and there's like 43 that are pending. So things are selling really quickly in that luxury price point, and here's why I think that is. We have a massive influx still from people from California, New York, DC, Chicago, where they're leaving. And yes, Orlando is getting more expensive. Everybody, all of you guys in the comments tell me that all the time on how expensive Orlando is getting. But to these people coming in, Orlando still seems like a great deal. And so I think that in 2022 and 2023, we're gonna continue to see this push towards more luxury sales here in Central Florida. So wrapping up, if you are in the luxury space or you're in a getting in the starter home process, interest rates are starting to tick up. Even just over the past week, they went up about a quarter point on average. I'm not really sure what you're waiting for because things are still continuing to climb. So feel free to reach out. My team and I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. My email is info at posedgroup.com. Then before you leave, hit the subscribe button as we're putting out new videos every single week about life here in Central Florida. We'll see you on the next video.